you, the Illinois Supreme Court will hold a ceremonial installation today for new Chief Justice Mary Jane Tice. The Chicago native began her three year term last month. She is the fourth woman to hold the post and she joins us live this morning. Good morning, Chief Justice Tyson. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Good morning to you. Oh, how has it been since you were selected by the court to serve a three year term over this last month? Well, a roller coaster, of course. Uh, Leading a third branch of government is a challenge. Uh, there are important issues that uh, uh, the courts are facing, that the state of Illinois are facing, but I'm very excited to uh, begin my term. We were just talking, I don't know if you were listening in while you were in the holding place for this Zoom, but we were just talking about regrettable majors. Did you always know you wanted to go into law? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a regrettable major at all. I, uh, I studied history and um, I learned a great deal about um, our country and our, our values and uh, learned to think seriously about all of those kind of things. So it's really helped me to become a, a lawyer. And now I've been a judge for a very long time. I've been a judge for, oh my heavens, almost 39 years. Uh, and I can see all the pieces fitting together. 39 years as a judge? Yes. <laughs> and how many years before that were you an attorney? Uh, about 10. I was a, a assistant public defender in Cook County. That was a really important part of my life. Uh, I represented people who uh, were alone and afraid, and I was their only hope. Mm. Um, as a young person, to take on that kind of responsibility uh, really uh, shaped me, shaped me who I am today and certainly affect the way I think about the court system. I, you know what, you just answered the question that I was gonna ask you was just how would that impact who you are today? Absolutely. I met people whose lives are very different from mine. I've had a very blessed life. Uh, and yet uh, the, the, the people I represented, their families, uh, their stories, uh, they stay with me. Uh, I'd like to think that uh, in, in every case that I hear, that I'm hearing the voices of the actual people mm -hmm. whose um, cases come before the court. It's not just paper moving from one side of the desk to the other. Every one of these cases are real people and their lives. And, and those stories stay with me. And I'm sure that's what makes you such a good Chief Justice because they're not just a docket number. So what are your plans during your term as Chief Justice? Well, there's some real challenges that the courts face. Uh, one is that uh, it's very, uh, expensive to hire a lawyer. So people who have good cases, meritorious cases, have a very difficult time coming to court and telling their stories mm -hmm. because courts have their own rules. And so they're uncomfortable. They don't know how to use the courts. So uh, we need to do more and more uh, to assist people to come to courts when they do not have a lawyer. Another issue that's really important is issues about mental health. We've learned that a very high percentage of the people who come into our court system, especially in the criminal area, uh, have diagnosable uh, mental health issues. And we don't do a very good job about that. We incarcerate more mentally ill people than we hospitalize. We have to address that. And most importantly, most importantly, um, this is a moment where uh, the public has been told over and over again that the courts are partisan, that this is a political game. That's not true. The judges in the state are committed to the rule of law, committed to acting fairly, and committed to making sure that every person in the state understands that and believes it. And we'll continue to work on that. And that sounds like three great things to work on over these next few years. And we're almost out of time, but before I let you go, Chicago native, what neighborhood? North Side. I grew up in the shadows of Wrigley Field. I grew up uh, there and uh, I lived in my home with my family uh, for the, the next 40 years or so, also in the shadows of Wrigley Field. So don't, it's really easy for me to tell you who my favorite sports is. I was going to say, I don't even need to ask you then White Sox or Cubs. I know the answer now. Absolutely. And I'm proud of it. Uh, as you should be. Chief Justice Mary Tice, thank you so much for waking up early with us this morning and sharing. <laughs> Okay, thanks so much. All right, take care. We will post this entire interview on our website, abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.